Welcome back, everyone, to WNWO's Friday Night Frenzy. Each week, we're going to take you inside a team that maybe we're not going to be able to show you highlights of for that week, and we call that our extra point. So this week, I went out and talked to the St. John's Titans and found out what's going to be the special edition for this season. Team, One, two, let's go. We up, we up. The St. John's football program has been looking forward to this 2012 season to finally kick off. We've been waiting for this since, you know, last time we stepped off the field, um, last game of the year. We're all ready to just go out there and show everybody, you know, that what we've been working on and, uh, you know, just see, put the pieces together. Sure, the Titans opened up with an exciting, tough matchup against Cleveland Heights, but the talk around the St. John's community has been the anticipation of playing in their new stadium. It's definitely something we've been looking forward to ever coming into as freshmen. You know, they were talking about a stadium being built, and you know, we were worried we weren't going to be able to play on it or be in a stadium like this. While the new stadium has been under construction, the Titans had to make do with having a home away from home. Nice to, you don't have to get on a bus and drive 30 minutes for a home game, you know. So, as we've done in the past, going to Bowling Green and different places, Toledo and, and using Rogers, Bowser, those kind of schools. You're going to Rogers and whatnot, I mean, there's great fields and we're glad they let us play there for home games and whatnot. But, you know, I think we're kind of tired of traveling around so much when we could just sit here in our backyard and just play football like we do every day for practice. Coach Pearson's hoping this new stadium would not only benefit the team this season, but will help facilitate the program to grow and compete for years to come. We want to make this place just, you know, just to be the Taj Mahal of uh, South Toledo, so, you know, so we want kids to come here, that's for sure. Having a true home field will be beneficial for the program for years to come, but what is shaping the Titans' legacy now are the senior key players stepping up and leading the way. You know, they bought into the system. That's what the whole key is. You know, you got to buy into the system or else, you know, we're not going to be a good team. We're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, you can have all the talent in the world. I mean, you can have a couple of guys, but you need role players. You need guys that are going to make us, you know, even better. And, you know, and we want to help them make it look better. But, you know, we're still a work in progress. We're nowhere near, you know, where we want to be. But, uh, you know, even if we go in the playoffs, we're still not going to be where we want to be because we're not going to be complacent. And, you know, we're just going to keep battling. Defense. Get off the field. Get off the field. Get off the field. Ready to go tomorrow. Unfortunately, the St. John's Titans did not beat Cleveland Heights tonight. They lost 56 to 24. But exciting news coming up. You do not want to miss highlights of this. Delta and Toledo Christian. Exciting game, exciting highlights. Stay with us right after this break.